These days, your friends and coworkers can probably reach you in a number of ways. For example, I have addresses for email and instant messaging, plus a work phone, a home phone, and a mobile phone. One way to share that contact information is to use electronic business cards, and these are a part of the contacts feature in Outlook 2010. You can send electronic cards in your email messages, or you can use them as your email signature. The cards look nice, and the people who receive them can save your contact information without having to type it themselves. That saves time, and it's more accurate. So, if you're switching from Outlook 2003 to Outlook 2010, or if you're new to electronic business cards, this course shows you how to create them from the ground up. This course will also show you how to format them, include them in messages and signatures, and how to save them to your list of contacts. In Outlook, electronic business cards start life as contacts, and when I open a contact, you can see that Outlook has automatically created a card for it. So, to create an electronic business card for yourself, you add yourself as a contact. To do that, click Contacts here in the navigation pane, and on the ribbon, click New Contact, enter your data, and notice that Outlook populates the card as you go. In addition to the data, you can also include images such as your corporate logo. And we'll look at how to do that in the next video. You can also create cards for more than just work. For example, I coach a youth soccer team, so I have a separate business card that I send to my players and their parents. After you enter your information, you can edit the card, and that's usually a good idea. You can see this card has a lot of data, so it's cluttered and kind of hard to read. So, to edit the card, I go to the ribbon, and on the Contact tab in the Options group, click Business Card. Or, I just right-click the card and click Edit Business Card. I'll start by removing the mailing address, and to do that, I click that field in the card, and then click Remove. Now, this only removes the field from the card. It doesn't affect the data in the underlying contact. Also, I want my title above the company name, so I'll select the job title field and move it up. And you can see the results here. What's more, these controls here give me quite a few choices around fonts and text formatting. So, for this card, I'll make the name bold. If you want to learn more, we'll look at some fancier layout techniques in the next video. Notice, too, that some of the fields have labels. You can change or remove any labels, and for this example, I'll click the Business Phone field and change the label, and do the same for the Mobile Phone field. Now, so far, the changes I've made haven't affected the underlying contact. But if I change the text in the edit box here, I do change the contact. As an example, I'll add a middle initial. And when I go back to the contact, you can see the change is there too. So be careful when you change text in the edit box. From here, I can include the card in the body of my emails, or I can include it as my email signature. To include it in a message, go to the Insert tab and click Business Card. To use the card as a signature, I start a new message, and on the Message tab, click Signature, and then click Signatures, and that starts the Signatures and Stationery dialog box. I create a new signature, and I'll call this one Business Card.
and then I click business card locate my contact save my changes and then open the new messages list here and select the signature that includes the card now whenever I create a new message the card is automatically included You'll find detailed instructions for doing this in the practice, and if you go to the quick reference card, you'll find a link to a training course on email signatures. If you receive a card from someone else and you want to save that information to your contacts, you just right-click the card and click Add to Outlook Contacts. And when you go to your contacts list, there it is. Finally, electronic business cards are compatible with a large number of other email programs. Those programs will probably give you a different way to save business cards, and if you aren't sure how to do that, see the help for that email program. And up next, I'll show you how to change the look and feel of a card.